Okay, now we're going to take this same question we did a few minutes ago um, using long division and we're going to show you how you can do it with uh, synthetic division. Now, when Joe Synthetic invented his synthetic division, he said, well, let, we're dealing with a variable x here, so we don't really need to write it down. Let's just go through and write down the numbers plus 2, plus 5, minus 7, and plus 8. And uh, what I always do then is I put a line down here and just remind myself that this last column is the remainder column. You'll see why that's important later. Now, I'm going to be dividing by plus, that's plus 2 here. Okay. Now, there are two ways that you can do this question. What I like to do is put down a plus 2 here. I'm dividing by adds plus 2, so I put down a plus 2 here. Uh, I will show you a second way in a few minutes. Then I put a line across here. And here is the pattern that I'm going to use. As I go down, I'm going to be subtracting. And then I'm going to go diagonally over using multiplying. So I subtract down and I multiply diagonally. Let's see what happens here. 2 subtract 2 is 2. So I virtually just bring that number down. Now I'm going to keep my finger over here on this plus 2 and I'm going to multiply diagonally. 2 times 2 is 4. Now I subtract. 5 take away 4 is 1. And now I'm going to use the plus 2 again and I'm going to multiply diagonally. 2 times 1 is 2. And now I subtract. Negative 7 subtract 2 is negative 9. And using the plus 2 again, I multiply. 2 times negative 9 is negative 18. And now I'm going to be subtracting again. 8 subtract negative 18 is positive 26. Okay. Um, what you get with synthetic division once you are finished is this is the remainder that you get to your question and in here you get your quotient okay um, over here if I put an x in front of this that is what I was dividing by x plus 2 so I just merely have to put an x in front of that and I've got what I'm dividing by. Here's how I read my quotient off. Originally I had an x cubed here. So I'm going to subtract 1 from the power 3 and make this a power 2. This becomes a 1x and this becomes a minus 9. So here is my answer. 2x squared plus 1x minus 9 with a remainder of plus 26. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just move this down here to the bottom of the page for a second. And above here, we're going to remind ourselves how we did it by long division. Okay. And you will see some of the same things happening. Um, we had here with long division, we had 4x squared. Well, here we get a 4. Then we had a plus 2x, and here we get a 2. Then we had a minus 18, and here we get a minus 18. Okay. We had a 2x squared, we end up with a 2x squared. We have a 1x, we end up with a 1x. We had a minus 9, we end up with a minus 9. Okay. We had a remainder here of plus 26. We have a remainder here of plus 26. What you'll find with synthetic division is that it's sort of the quickest way to do long division. And sometimes, as you'll see later on, you have to do a whole series of long divisions. And uh, it's a lot quicker to use synthetic division than long division. Now, I know that your book 
and some of the other teachers have another way of doing this. So I'm going to show you an other way of doing this. Um, here is our original question up here. So they they write the two, the plus five, and the minus seven, the plus eight down. And you want to divide by x plus two. So what? Another way of doing that is to take the opposite of the plus two and write it over here. So you're writing a minus two over here. Everything else you do almost exactly the same, except the pattern is now when you're going down, instead of subtracting, you now add. And when you're going diagonally, you're still multiplying. Let's see how this works. 2 plus 0 is 2, so you virtually bring the 2 down. Negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. 5 plus negative 4 is plus 1. Negative 2, this is the thing I'm multiplying by, times positive 1 is negative 2, and you are adding. So negative 7 and negative 2 is negative 9. Negative 2 times negative 9 gives me plus 18 and I'm adding so I end up with plus 26. You can see comparing these two answers here that you get exactly the same answer. You get 2x squared plus 1x minus 9 and you get a remainder of plus 26. The only difference is you must remind yourself that you have been dividing not by x minus 2 but by x plus 2, the opposite of that. And if you can remember that, um, then that's fine. Put down the opposite here, and instead of subtracting, always add. So, which either way you feel comfortable. So this is my quotient. This is my remainder. Plus 26. This is my divisor. And of course, my original dividend was uh, 2x2 plus 5x squared, etc.